welcome. So we are going to begin to paint our spoons. So make sure you have all of your supplies first. That's always the most important thing to remember when you're doing everything with a craft is you want to have your area prepped. Now this craft has to be done in two steps. You're not gonna be able to do it all at once. You've gotta give things time to dry because first of all, we have to paint our spoon a base color. Now you can choose your base color to be whatever you want it to be, but I really love red as a base color for spoons. So I've gone on and I've prepped my paint on a little paper plate that I had available to me. Because you wanna make certain too that you aren't getting things on mom or dad's or your grandparents or your caretaker's table. You wanna make sure we're staying clean. The first brush that you're gonna to wanna to use is your little sponge brush. Go over to your sink and wet it just a little bit. Squeeze out the excess water. We just want it to be a little bit wet. And we're gonna begin putting on that base color. So I've got my paint on and I'm gonna start going over this. Now you could use any size brush to do this, but you know what? Using this sponge brush makes it so much easier to spread it out. And that's what I like to do. And it makes your paint go a lot further too. Because sometimes when you're using another type of brush to do that, you'll get your paint uneven and that makes it not dry evenly too. And not only does it make it not dry evenly, it'll sometimes cause little bumps and things that makes your spoon not as smooth to use. So just keep going and we are going to paint this entire brush red. Right. Now, You'll see I'm holding it at the bottom. What you'll probably want to do is give this top part a little bit of time to dry. So take a moment and you can set it back on your little paper plate and give that time to dry. Now something with colors is you may decide one base coat's enough, but you may decide you want two. But you're gonna come back and eventually Paint the rest of this. We're just letting it dry first so that we don't get it on our fingers and all over the place. Once you've done that, you can let this sit for a little while because, like I said, you're going to go back and finish up the bottom here in a moment. Make certain you have that whole base color on. We want to give this, once we've got it all painted, about 20 minutes to fully dry because then we're going to begin making designs on our spoon. And welcome back from uh, your 20 minutes or longer if you added a second coat. I did go on and add a second coat to mine because I wanted that nice vibrant red color on my spoon. I'm now going to begin working on the design. This is where you're going to need your smaller toothbrush. I mean not toothbrush, your smaller paintbrush. You're going to have, want to have a little cup with some water in case you switch back and forth between your colors. In your kit, you're going to find that you had several colors. Now it's the time to open those, the ones that you're not using for your base color, uh, and the, the ones that you're going to use to make your design with. So I've pulled three of those colors out. You can leave them in the pot for this one since you don't have to spread it as much. Uh, I went on and still gooped mine out and put it on my little plate to work with. Now you may be wondering what types of designs to put on your spoon. If you go into our Google Classroom, you're gonna see some different designs that are on historical spoons. But the reality of Appalachian spoons was that they told stories. They uh, included hearts to symbolize love or knots to symbolize bonds to one another. They included beautiful flowers from the area. Uh, they sometimes engraved names or initials into their spoons as well if they were carving them. Now for mine today, I'm going to do a, a flower pattern that I particularly like. If you want to, you can decorate the interior of the spoon, the outside of the spoon, and even the stem of the spoon. And I love to do that too. I particularly love to do my stem with some vines. So you're gonna get to see some of the things that I am going to do. So I'm gonna begin painting. And remember the secret to painting so that it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to love it. So 
I want to start by making a little teardrop here. It's a little teardrop. I want to switch colors now. So I'm going to get that yellow off, dry it around a bit, and I want to put some blue dots on the edges. Not really because I have anything in mind with that. I just think it will be pretty. And maybe you want to put sunshine. Maybe you want to uh, do a favorite animal or something that symbolizes your family. Some leaf designs here. A little look there. On the edges here. Expand that a little bit. So that it looks like it's coming out and enveloping my flower. And you'll see this is a common design that we see on some of the spoons. Sometimes what they'd also do is they would add little touches like dots. Which I also like. I like to do dots. And you'll see it's nothing too fancy. It's a design that I like. I think I'm going to do some on the edges too. Now remember, these spoons aren't used to eat with because if you eat with them, well, the paint's gonna come off. Or if you boil with them or cook with them or anything like that, the paint will come off. We don't want that to happen. I'm just gonna continue my dots around. Now some people will draw or paint beloved animals they go but I do like to add flowers and dots to mine Particular favorite of mine is to do vines and vines are easy you just trace it around the spoon just like a vine is growing all the way around sometimes I go back up and I twist it back down just like it's a labyrinth. And what I'll do too is eventually I will go back over and add little dots around here too. So it looks like there's little flowers coming out. Now you might decide to do something different. You might like to do stripes on your spoon. You know, vines, vines just don't go down. Sometimes they go up too. Go through. I keep twisting that around. Now I know too, I'm just kind of laying a foundation here. Just like I did with the red, I will eventually go back over the green so that my color comes through much stronger. No, I think I'm gonna take this one down. Yeah. And too, you know, bonds have leaves. So I like to add a little, few little leaves through as I go. Do some touch-ups as I go along. 
Yeah, there's a good place for a leaf. I'm just making little lawns. My leaves are coming to life. And again, it's not necessarily about doing it perfectly, although we all like to do things well. It's about having fun with it and putting your personality in the creation. Because that's the most important thing. When these spoons were gifted, they were the personalities of the gifter. And I do love plants. I love growing plants. So maybe you started growing an, or started painting an animal because you love animals. Maybe you even did a video game character. There's nothing to say that yours has to look like mine. Lines are going around. How are yours well, looking? I remember, just like everything else, I love to see what you all come up with. We're going to keep working on our spoons. So you take time, and I'm going to take time to paint mine too, and then we'll see what we have when we're done.